Hey, Bill Feld here. Today we're going to be looking at how to debug TypeScript using TSX. So let's just first start off with some basics of what we need to make this happen. So we need to install TypeScript, we need to install TSX. But let's, before we do that, let's take a look at what happens when we try to debug a TypeScript file with Node.js. I set a breakpoint on this function here on line 13, and I'll try to run this. And VS Code is going to attempt to run it, and Node.js is saying, hey, I don't support TypeScript files. The file extension.ts is not known to Node. So, with that being said, what we need to do to make that a reality is we'll first install TSX, we can install TypeScript, and once we have those in our package, we have uh, those dependencies. In this case, I am going to be using ESM. There are ways to make it work with CommonJS. We're gonna focus on ESM with this example. Now that I have my project and my dependencies set up, I need to now create a .vs code folder with a launch.json file. And within this JSON file, we can create a configuration that allows us to run our program, but using TSX instead of Node directly. So TSX knows how to interpret the TS, the .ts file and work with that extension. There are some certain configurations that we'll set here. Mainly the important ones are the runtime arguments and the args for the file that we're gonna pass to TSX. So with this all set up and configured, now we can open a TypeScript file and we can now go to the same thing that we did before, but this time when we start it, we actually have a new launch configuration that will use TSX. And you can see down here, TSX was used to run that script. And we're able to pause in the debugger. If I were to step into a function, you can take a look at the parameter here that was passed. And we see it's JavaScript. If we go ahead and place a breakpoint on the other function call, we'll need to step in once again. And now you can see that the parameter is passed as TypeScript. And this is using the enum. So if we wanted to, we could look at language in the interactive debugger and see what it looks like in the actual runtime of our code. So in this case, you can see this is what the runtime behavior of an enum looks like in TypeScript. I'll drop a link to TSX in the description below. I'll also include a link to the VS Code debugging documentation that you can look through at all the different properties you can set. I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you in the next one.